Okay, so in this lab, I'll show you how to uh, build a simple Java application right, using Jenkins and GitHub. Right? So I already have the simple Java project inside one of my Git repository. Okay, now I need to build this source code using Jenkins. Now before you can build the source code using Jenkins, you will require to have all the necessary tools on the Jenkins server or all the Jenkins software to function. Right. So I would need to install certain plugins to build this Java project. So I'll go to manage Jenkins and I'll click on manage plugins. And over here, I'll install certain plugins. One of those plugins is GitHub integration plugin, right? So it basically makes sure that I can uh, put GitHub credentials. I can talk to GitHub in a very easy way. Next is Maven integration plugin. So if I already have Maven software installed on my Jenkins server, so Jenkins can invoke it and third software is Maven Invoker or third plugin is Maven Invoker. So it lets me invoke Maven, right? And any test associated to it. Okay, let's install all these three plugins. Okay, now once it is installed, right? You need to configure certain things inside this plugin. So you'll go to manage Jenkins one more time and this time you'll go to global tool configuration and you'll scroll straight down and you'll say Maven installation. Now by any chance if you don't have Maven installed on your server, right, then you can ask this plugin to install Maven for you. So you just need to put the name and which version of Maven do you want. I'll keep everything default and I'll say apply and save. Okay, now once this is done. I can finally go to uh, the home screen. I can say a new item or I can say create job. I'll click on create a job and I'll call the job as simple Java build. Okay. And I can do a freestyle project or a Maven project, right? So both of these two projects will give you user interface to define your task, right? So I'll go with the Maven project because it gives me a, a basically an input box where I can simply define the Maven commands. So I'll select this one. Once this is done, you will go to source code section and you'll say your source code is kept in git and you'll put the github repository URL. Just paste it over here. Now, since it's a public repository, it won't ask for any credentials. Then you can scroll down in the build section. You can say that you're building a Java application using Maven and there is a pom.xml file which defines how to install or how, what packages needs to be installed and how to package the application or the source code. So keep it default and your goal is to do a clean install and package of your application. So I'll just type the goal over here. So these are nothing but the, uh, the Maven goal, right? And I can finally say apply and I can say save. Once this is done, right? You can say build now, this will start our job, right? So it will basically first get the source code from Git repository and then run the Maven command to build the uh, Java code. Now you can see the logs in real time by clicking on this three dots in, inside the circle. And this is the console output of our Jenkins server, which is building the application and yeah, it is successful. So our application is built. Okay. It, it will get the code from Git, right? And then build our application by running the Maven command. Now you can see the build artifact by going to the job homepage, going to workspace within workspace, my build. Uh, software would be in web apps uh, under target and uh, this is the build package you can see the date and time right which message over here okay. so this is my build application right so you can just deploy it on my server right and the java application would be running so this is how you do a simple java build using jenkins and integrate it with github this is it for this lab thank you